Hey guys, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a brand new, not so new figure to show you, but notice this is not the authentic versions of MP47 Hound, but rather this is the knockoff version, or should I say the replicate versions. Because as for the other knockoff products, where we all know that they're gonna change a little bit in the design of the box and everything. But here this is the comp the exact same box as for the masterpiece hound so i do not have my masterpiece hound lying around for this video so i'm going to bring in the box of an old figure which is hot rod and okay, the box is quite old so never mind but as you can see here the box looks really alike from all the design and the silver masterpiece line and yeah they just look really similar or the design has been directly copied from and this is the same line of instruction in Japanese and I don't know what that means and that should be it exactly. one thing that really surprised me is the quality of the print as you can see it all got the glossy finish for the characters on the box which is really nice and surprise in the back of the box we got a few poses of hound and everything and we got some shot and in the down there you get all the accessories that comes with the figures so now let's crack him open and see what we got i think the, bo the box opened first we got a manual and i'm not gonna bother cracking this out because this is the old same manual with the hound so but like what can i say is that this is really nice quality printing and i'm impressed by this so here we have hound the um, upper section the roof for the car we got some hollows some face so I'm, I'm not too familiar with the character so sorry guys for my knowledge and we got a G1 figure so whoever he is and here's the same G1 figures we've seen with the, the kind of figures we've seen with MP44 and everything you got some articulation but then they are easy to fall because they are all ball joint you can try to sit, on, sit him on the car that is possible So yeah, you can see it in the car, and you got a holo as well, so you can see that hologram on the to the other side as well, like that. And you got another pair of glasses, the mirrors, the door, and you got a pistol, and you got a key, and you got two alternate face. You got a holo. This is a normal face, and we have a shouting G1 face. And then you have the uh, roof section of the car and that can be used as a shoe as well and that is it about the accessories now let's talk about the figure itself so this is a knockoff version and as you can see it clearly shows some problem firstly as you can see all oh, this is not really nice and tap in and they're not lined up so too much well and this is really loose the mirror the mirror is way too loose in my taste but that is fine other than that, what can I complain? Things is not really tapped in together. This is the problem with all the other knockoff versions of all the Transformers. And one more thing is that if you look at this section here, I'm going to bring in this. As you can see, the mirrors here, the clear part is really cloudy. And if I touch it inside, it kind of feel a little bit of shady. So this is obviously not some really nice quality control clear part. And this goes the same with this figure right here. I'm going to bring it in closely so you can see. As you can see, he's, he got some bubbles inside. This is obviously a reason of not too good quality material. But then again, this is a knockoff, so I cannot really complain too much. Other than that, the paint app looks nice. Uh, I don't know if they will trip over times or anything else. But at this very point here, they, they are fine to me. The wheels somehow don't want to stay put, which is kind of frustrating and this can like the all the same other hound this can be pushed up like that to form the coral section if you want a full cl fully closed jeep and it kind of work but it, but then again it's just, things are not really tapped in as you see we, we see massive gaps right here so i'm going to try something different so, to see if i can actually try to close it down fully or not but I guess not, this is all I got, I'm going to, all I get over again, again and like I just said, things keep falling apart, which is really frustrating. And yeah, this is a knockoff. I cannot complain too much about this in the vehicle mode, the alternate mode, because that, that is just the way it is. Because like this is like 10 times cheaper than the actual 
masterpiece version. So I guess this is the best we can get. So now let's move to transformation. And before we get to transformation, um, th I think I'm, I'm gonna skip size comparison and also at the transformation, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it quick without too much explanation because you all you've all seen the transformation and the size compare masterpiece hound. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on the quality of this guy rather than the transformation. So let's begin. Finishing transforming how and I say this is the pain in the ass. I hate the new masterpiece G1 style transformation. They use too many panels and all that. So it just makes the figure it just got really complicated. 
Other than that, this room would represent fine. The only thing that bugs me right now is in time whether this screw will be get rusty. And this is the obvious point when you see this is a KO version. The pain is not really nice over here. This is not the same. Other than that, all things seems to tap in pretty well. And he stands. He's he looks solid. I'm gonna try to drop it home. He's not too much solid, but he stands on his own, and that is good. I'm not gonna bother giving him some accessories because that is the same. But you got the gesture of what this guy looks like in the robot mode. This is a KO version, and everything's got the problem of, kind of tapping in, like the legs over here. So I mean, like in the back, you see the cable mess, but that is fine in my opinion. This is still fine. And other than that, he got a. Uh, he still keep the glass, the mask section. And so you can open this out and try to flip out this blue mask over here, which is kind of hard. Oh, I'm still getting try. I'm still getting used to bringing this out. And one more thing. I, you all know the new kind of face swap of the new MP line, and so you can flip down this mask and this is this looks better than the actual thing here over here like this this is really bad but this mask actually looks really nice and I enjoy that as well and so what can I say more I don't think that there's too much I can say about this figures except for the part that it got still got the same level of articulation it's got the head around and I think it's just got the tendency to fall off and you got this things can move around, war machine style, rotation, then, then, and then you got a waist swivel, kick. The knee bed is really nice, and you got some pivot, which is a lot of pivot. I must say, this is a lot of pivot, and you got a feet bend. And so, why would you purchase this figure? The only reason that I find suitable for purchasing this figure would be for the for those of you who want to complete their G1 cast but don't want to waste money on the real thing because the thing with masterpiece figure nowadays is that they got too expensive. I mean like way too expensive. So do I recommend this guy? Hardly and barely. I don't want to waste money on sub characters with amounts of money like this. And, and, and I mean, I know that like a lot of you G1 hardcore fans will come and dislike me for saying this, but in my opinion, Masterpiece Hound is such a waste of money and the KO is a waste of time. So buy it if you want, but I would not highly recommend this figure. That will be it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next video and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new and follow me on Instagram. That's where I do most of my poses. And finally, if you feel like you can help me out with future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. Tantana.